warnings from the Pentagon as Russia and China are now outpacing the United States in hypersonic missile technology. The weapons in question move 10 times faster than the speed of sound. They maneuver at all phases of their flight trajectory. The commander of U.S. Strategic Command, General John Hyten, has already warned that the United States lacks an adequate defense. We don't have a, any defense that could uh, deny the em employment of such a weapon a against us, so our response would be our deterrent force, which would be the triad and the nuclear capabilities that we have to respond to such a threat. On March the 1st, President Putin announced a new generation of weapons vastly superior to anything developed around the world. In Russia, such a is. A hypersonic system an ICBM with unlimited range, weapons that can fly through dense layers of the atmosphere, a nuclear-powered cruise missile, underwater drones, a unique combat laser complex. That got everyone talking about an arms race and that deadly Russian missile. But from Russia's point of view, it's the one that feels threatened. But over the past 18 years, NATO's been joined by Hungary, Poland, the Czech Republic, Bulgaria, Romania, Slovakia, Albania, Croatia, Montenegro, as well as the former Soviet republics of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. NATO is now at Russia's doorstep. Here is an online meme on how Russia moved its country too close to NATO's military bases. Furthermore, the US moved its missile defenses closer to Russia's borders, another promise broken by Washington. In 2002, the US pulled out of the ABM Treaty signed decades before when the Soviet Union was still in place. What is missile defense? It enables one party to launch its own missiles and intercept any counter-strike. It could guarantee victory in a potential war. Of course, NATO and the US say their missile defenses are not against Russia, but against Iran and North Korea. But the locations tell another story. Missile defense installations were placed in Poland, Romania, California, and Alaska. They're also planned for Japan and South Korea. Missile defense ships patrol the seas close to Russian territory. The balance is disrupted, and Russia, which hasn't ramped up its missile defenses like the US, is facing a deadly danger. If a nuclear-tipped missile is launched anywhere in the world, the U.S. military instantly responds. Four-star General John Hyten is alerted as soon as any missile threat is detected. He comes out of his office, heads down these stairs to his bunker deep underground in Omaha, Nebraska. This is the battle deck at U.S. Strategic Command. General Hyten, in charge of the U.S. nuclear arsenal, watches along with his highly disciplined staff 24-7 for all incoming ballistic missiles. I have six computer screens in my office. They all go off. There's a verbal alarm that goes off. There's people that are telling me, a exec is telling me, there's about 10 different ways to make sure that the commander knows that it's time to move. Ready to advise President Trump on how to deter enemies and, if needed, launch a U.S. attack. CNN was given exclusive access to the general. We were there when an actual missile alert sounded. For the real world. I'm sorry, we have to ask you to leave for a moment. The op center had just picked up signals of likely Russian missiles fired in Syria. Every time the alarm sounds, highly classified data detailing the threat is sent instantly to General Hyten. In this case, the launch was quickly assessed as not a threat to the U.S. Our strategic forces are always ready to respond, and everybody should know that, that they are ready this minute, under the ground, under the sea, in the air. We are ready to respond to any threat, and the adversaries of the world, including Kim Jong-un, have to know that. Hyten watches diplomatic action carefully, 
but worries about missiles and bombs North Korea's Kim Jong-un still may have hidden away. Your gut tells you he's kept building. Well, I'm, I'm confident that he didn't stop building things when he stopped launching things. Now, I can't go into the intelligence, but I've worked with rockets a long time. I know how long they take to build. Strategic Command is also keeping a close eye on Vladimir Putin's claim of new high-speed Russian intercontinental attack weapons. We have very good intelligence capabilities, and we watch very closely. So nothing he said surprised me. In a real-world emergency, there is an urgent scramble. We can get the President of the United States on the phone. Secretary of Defense? Secretary of Defense, yes, ma'am. Secretary of State? Yes, ma'am. CIA Director? CIA Director. There's nobody you can't... No, ma'am, there's nobody we no. can't get on the phone. General Hyten can rapidly brief the President. Pictures that we see on the screen will tell me exactly where the missile is, how high it is, how fast it is going, where the predicted impact point is. All those kind of issues happen in a, a matter of a small number of minutes. And if a missile is headed for the U.S., that's when this safe, which sits under a desk, gets opened. Inside, an exact copy of President Trump's nuclear launch checklists. In this room, there are only two people that can have access to that safe, and that is me as the Battlewatch commander and my strike advisor. Nobody else can touch it. One of us has to be in this room at all times. General Hyten would be one of the first to know if President Trump orders a nuclear launch.